This month, I want to focus with you on the generations. I want to talk to you about God is speaking right now for fathers to start paying attention to their children. We've got to begin to put in ethics. We've got to begin to teach character to our children. We are letting um, the government, we're letting schools, we're letting uh, secular humanism, um, Hollywood, all of these people, darkness teach our young people. And it's got to stop right now. As a father and mother, if you are a Christian, you have got to follow Christ. You have got to stop letting the enemy influence the mind of your children. I want to read to you today a text from Luke chapter 1, verse 17. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. As pre a preacher, it is our job to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. How does this happen? As, as mothers and as fathers, it is our job to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Are your children prepared for the Lord? Do they know about God? Do they know about his word? Do they know about his goodness? Do they know about uh, how awesome God is? Well, I, I just want you to think about this today because God is speaking that. We've got to have the fathers turn to the children. And many of our young people are fatherless. They're the fathers are absent, and uh, the government has tried to be the father and actually thinks that they own the children. Um, I'd like you to go to parentalrights.org and, and really look at that website and get behind that movement so that parents get their rights back for their children. The government doesn't own our children. In fact, we were given them by God, and we don't own them either. We are giving them back to God, to be used by God. In this day and hour, God is asking for us to do something awesome for him. Stop aborting our children, stop throwing them to the side, and start educating them in scriptural, scriptural principles. Now, for us to do that, many of us need to do that ourselves, but we are going to lukewarm watered down churches, and uh, we're not really being taught the depth of the word the way that we need to. And now you're a full-grown man and full-grown woman still acting like a child in a full-grown body. We've got to stop it now, and we've got to turn to Christ and grow up, okay? Watch these clips remain. I'll be right back. Here I am in the Senate chambers right here in Augusta, Maine, and um, we're going to pray for all of these leaders. Heavenly Father, God, we lift up every senator, everyone that's in this chamber, God, that when they gather together, the Holy Spirit will begin to work on everyone, God. God, that you would cause a supernatural revival to come in our country, God, of morality, of uh, freedom, God, of limited government, of people having self-government in their heart. Start with our leaders, God. Make them understand what freedom is. Don't... Uh, um, overreach into the lives of people, God. We ask God it would be here in Maine and that every state would be used to push back the federal beast in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'm happy you're back. I'm so glad that you're with me today, and I hope that those first few words kind of inspired you. I would love for you to get this teaching about the children and our responsibility to the children. We've got to have the correct worldview. Uh, maybe you don't understand what worldview is. Worldview is why you exist or, or why you are here, and I want to talk to you more about that next time. We're going to hit that a little bit and um, because we are here to fulfill God's purpose. I ask God you would turn families back together, bring them back together, turn the hearts of the fathers back together the children. Let the fathers begin to teach. Let, let the fathers represent the Heavenly Father. I bind up every demonic spirit that would break apart families, and I ask God that you would move on our behalf. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you next Monday Minute.